lowercase letters correctly. Before we go any further, let's double check and make sure we really know what capital letters are and what lowercase letters are. Thank you for your share. It's a good way to describe it, isn't it? So when I'm looking at my chart here, Ethan, could you point to where the lowercase letters are? So all of these little ones, can you, when you look at them, they do look little, don't they? They look smaller. And where are the capital letters there? Yeah, and I do. Where have you got capital? Alright, welcome to your conference drive. Thank you for signing up on the board. I've noticed that you've bought your goal, your piece of writing and your pencil. So well done for coming prepared. Now, can you tell me, why did you want to have our conference today? Um, I wanted to have a conference because I have my, I don't have any more ideas. It was my birthday. They sang me a song. So I've noticed you've spelt the word there correctly as well, which is good because that's our spelling word at the moment. You've written ah, uh, and I'm noticing as I flick through, you've got lots of high frequency words that you've spelt correctly. That makes it really easy for the reader to read. So I think we're going to give you a tick on your goal today. Hi Miriam. So, can you tell me about your story? Um, it's about um, a spooky park, yeah. and um, Josie um, goes on a bus, and um, we're trying to go to the Chanting and Adventure Garden, um, but um, this bus driver's evil. Everyone was at school. Go there, quick, hurry up, let's go. That's all Josie could hear from the teachers. And I got a real sense that everyone was rushing with the words that you got there. Go there, quick, hurry up, let's go. Who's speaking those words? Is it just everyone? Is it what everyone's saying? The teachers are saying that, okay? Okay, so Neha, last conference we spoke about, um, and the thing that you were gonna take away from that conference to have a think about, was what emotions you want your audience to feel as you're reading your piece. So have you given a thought into what emotions you want your audience to feel? Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Uh, the emotion I want them to feel is empathy for the main character in my story. Yep, so empathy. Yep. Yeah. And also to like uh, build suspense before the bomb drops on in Hiroshima. And several minutes had passed when the alarm sounded once again. I was out on the balcony when I saw a small white speck drop from a plane that I had just noticed. Alright, so for today's learning intention um, was all about taking inspiration from um, published authors to improve the quality of our writing. So from today, when we'll read the work example as a class, what inspiration did you note take in your writer's notebook? 